Hello, this is Immaturness with your guidance for your gerbils. Right here I have two very young gerbils, a month, two months old. They're very young and they're, they're old enough to live on their own. That's why they're in here. They're healthy. They know how to run on the wheel and they're going perfectly fine. Um, so today we're going to talk about basic needs. Well, one basic need because one per show. Um, um, so, one of the common questions I've been hearing a lot is, how do I stop my gerbil from chewing on the bars? And another one is, how do I, um, uh, how do I decide which gerbil is right for me, or if a gerbil is even right for me? Um, these are two easy questions that I would gladly answer. So, number one. Your gerbil chews on the bars because they need two stuff to chew on to gnaw down and um, make their teeth shorter because their teeth grow for life. Um, a little fun fact, their tears are actually red, so if you see their eyes red or anything, it's tears. So anyways, to stop them from chewing on the bars, you can put like this kind of like, I don't know, like I think it's lemon juice. And they hate the taste of that, so they'll stop chewing on the bars right away. And then you could provide them some chewing toys. Or, if they keep doing it, you can slightly blow them on the head. Just blow them. Like, just a little blow. It's like a little tap, but no, um, like, physical involvement. Um, uh, now, deciding which gerbil is right for me and if I should get a gerbil. This is a very easy answer. Gerbils are fit for almost everyone, but they do need a couple different needs than a hamster or anything you might have seen on TV. Well, um, first of all, they need chewing toys because they're teeth, you know. Um, you never grab them by the tail. This snake booster. Okay, picking the right gerbil. You have to get it from a trusted place. Like Petco or PetSmart, they have a special vet check to make sure they're very healthy before you get them. You look at them and make sure they're in good condition. If they appear to be big and very old, you probably don't want to get that gerbil because it's probably been there for a very long time. And if you get an older gerbil, it's a slighter chance that they'll die even earlier than they're supposed to. But if you get a young gerbil... Um, they'll live for their fullest extent, and you'll have very happy years. You have to be there at least 15 minutes a day for them to play with your gerbil. If you cannot provide that time, I don't think a gerbil is right for you. But 15 minutes a day, just so they can stay tamed and trained, and it's most likely that they won't bite you. Um, hamsters and gerbils are back to back in their responsibility chains. They're not that hard to take for. If people say they're stinky or they're just downright disgusting, I don't really believe them because they're easy to take care of, not that stinky, and they groom themselves daily. So you just need two to three inches of bedding because they love to burrow and that's their natural instinct. Um, um, you need a full boat of food full bowl of food every day for them so they'll never starve and always make sure their water bottle is filled because they don't drink a lot but you still want to make sure they have enough moisture so um yeah and if you guys want to see I'll show you one of these healthy little baby gerbils and what they're supposed to look like and if you're looking for one at the store you might want to look like one that's in a good condition like this one so I'll try to get one of the See, the young ones are kind of harder to tame because they're more scared of people. Older ones probably easier to tame, I guess. Here, I have a gerbil named Salt. She looks tired, but you want to get one that looks like her. She looks healthy. She looks young. Her fur is in good shape. She's not that fat. She's a little bit too small. You don't want to get them too small, you know. But, yeah, and this is what a healthy gerbil should look like. So, why don't you go back in your cage? There you go. And, yeah, thank you for watching this video, and I hope you have enough advantage to get a gerbil. And if a gerbil isn't right for you, search up if a hamster or a fairy or anything else. Because I'm pretty sure you can find a pet that fits your needs. Maybe even a fish. I find it quite boring, but...
Fish are good, right? Okay, well, bye-bye. This was Immaturinist, and we are logging out.